Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather Lewis and today we are making over these two French provincial style nightstands for my dad's bedroom. As you can see, they are the same nightstands but they don't currently match. Along with that, the paint on the top of this brown nightstand is chipping off and it's only going to get worse and worse so we have to go ahead and remove that. But before that happens, I'm going to take the hardware off and eventually do something to make them pop a bit more. When there's only two pieces of hardware like this, it always goes by super fast. Um, French Provincial style hardware is some of my all-time favorite hardware because of its detail. You almost can't find detail like that anywhere else. And I don't even think they make French Provincial anymore. I could be wrong. Comment down below if they still do. Um, but since nothing is missing, I'm for sure going to be putting it back on when I'm finished. I'm starting to get in the habit of wearing my respirator and wearing the right protective equipment is really important when doing projects like these because I'm about to start sanding and it's got to be on. I'm still on a search for some good goggles but at least I'm not breathing anything in. This top really needed to be sanded down since it was already chipping. Whoever ended up refinishing this last unfortunately didn't do it right and as far as I can see no proper prep work steps were taken to ensure that the paint sticks. This is why it's always important to do the prep work before you start painting. I'm sanding the top with my DeWalt palm sander with a 220 grit and it's coming off way too easy. This really did not take a long time to sand at all. I should also mention that these are shiny laminate tops so it's even more important to do all of the prep work before paint because they're super slippery and smooth. Although I am taking this paint off, it's been decided that I won't be putting any new paint on and I'll get more into that in a little bit. But after it was all off the top, I was easily able to just wipe all of the dust away. Because there are a lot of curves on these pieces and I didn't want to ruin them with my sander, I decided it would be best to hand sand the rest of the body. I am still using a 220 grit, but this way I will have a bit more control Hand sanding definitely does take a little bit more time, but I'd much rather keep the structure of the curves by going slow and taking my time over speeding through it and dulling down the curves with my sander. There is, however, some sanding pads that you can pick up that is much more squishy so you don't ruin the curves like these while still using your sander. Those are pretty great, so I'll try to leave a link or a few links to them down below um, in case you are interested in trying those out. Otherwise, I am now getting started on cleaning the pieces. I am using warm water and Dawn dish soap to clean these up. I just want to make sure that all of the dust is off and that they're super clean so they are ready for primer. After kind of letting those dry up a little bit, I grabbed some painter's tape and started taping all along the sides of the top of the nightstands. And as I previously mentioned, it's been decided not to repaint the tops, but I am going to be painting the rest and that's why I'm taping it up. As soon as the tape was on, I was ready for primer. I am using the Zinzer 123 primer, which is exactly what these pieces need because it is an adhesion primer. If I did decide I wanted to paint the laminate tops, priming with an adhesion primer would probably be like the most important step so that the paint wouldn't chip like how it was in the very beginning of this video. That's definitely something that we wouldn't want. So priming is super important along with the scuff sanding. Those would be the two main things that I would say has to be done if you were to paint laminate tops like on these nightstands. As I'm watching this footage myself, I can tell that it's really hard to see that the primer is going on that already cream nightstand, but trust me, it's there and it is going on. It's gonna do so much good for keeping the paint on and staying in good condition in the years to come. 
I am moving on to the second nightstand and I wanted to take a second to mention that if you are liking these furniture flipping videos, it would mean a ton to me if you could give this video a big thumbs up, comment something down below, and subscribe if you aren't yet. Something that takes such little effort to you helps me out a ton and I have a goal of making this YouTube channel a career but I can't do it without you guys so I appreciate all the constant support. I really really do. Once the primer dried, I thought it would probably be best to move the rest of the project inside as it's starting to get pretty cold outside, so bear with me during these winter months as my filming location may change a ton due to the temperatures outside, but for the rest of this project, I did lay a big blue tarp down in the sunroom and this worked out great for this small project, but I'm not sure how a big dresser would work in here, so we'll have to figure it out. The paint that I'm using on these nightstands is this emerald paint by Sharon Williams in the color Cape Verde. The best way I can describe the color is a 50-50 mix between an emerald green and a dark turquoise. It's a very rich color and I really do like it which is weird because typically I'm more so leaning towards the neutrals than I ever would a color like this. Anytime I'm using a new paint, I'll make sure to stir it up really well, especially with these darker colors like this, since some of the paint can stick to the bottom and you don't want that at all. You want it all mixed together. Right away, I will say it probably would have been smart of me to tint my primer for this project because it took so many, many coats to achieve full coverage and we'll get into that a little bit later, but really it took so much time and that's why this video is a day late. For those of who didn't know, you can get your primer tinted at the store or you can actually tint your primer yourself by putting your white primer in like a separate container so it doesn't, you know, all mix together and mix either the exact color or a darker color depending on what you want. I've always just mixed or tinted my own primers because it's cheaper and that way I still have some white primer but I can also, you know, just tint it whenever I need it tinted. Another thing I wanted to add is that this paint is very shiny, which is something I am not used to, but it's actually pretty helpful in knowing that the paint is going to be more durable without adding a top coat. Typically, the paints I use are pretty flat, which means there isn't much protecting it from getting scratched, and for that reason, I'll add a top coat like polyurethane, but I feel no need to put an extra top coat on after all of these coats of paint on this project. I left off recording the first coat, and now that it's dark, I'm showing you guys coat number four. The amount of coats needed on these nightstands were the only annoying thing about this paint, but a tinted primer would probably help that issue a ton. Even after coat number four, it was still obvious that these nightstands did not have full coverage yet, so I did have to go ahead with coat number five and six until it was finally looking super beautiful like this. But um, as I mentioned, I do not need a top coat because of how durable this paint is. So I am going to skip that, but I did spray paint the hardware gold and I thought it would be really pretty to paint on some gold accents around the edge of the top. So we're going to go ahead and do that part now. Thanks to Farmhouse Paint, I already had some gold metallic paint on hand, so this is the kind that I'm using. To apply the paint, I am using a very small painter's brush and trying to keep my hand as steady as possible. And this is actually super hard for me because I naturally have super shaky hands, so anything very small and tedious like this is extremely difficult, but I think I did a pretty good job. This is a style that I would never do in my own home as I love the neutrals like the whites and creams so it is pretty fun to explore these different colors and styles for other people. These nightstands with the new color and gold accents are beautiful, don't get me wrong, it's just not me. But it's definitely fun to play around with and just admire even though I wouldn't have it in my own home. And I did have to do three coats of the gold for it to look 100% complete. And then this is the hardware spray painted gold and now it's time to get into the final reveal. Oh, 
surprise.